This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video we're going to talk about the clamp assembly on a, a guillotine EC19 Pro um, paper cutter. And just um, the bottom part here has got, got a bearing here and I'm just showing how to replace it the order it comes in. These bearings are kind of, it's kind of a two-sided bearing. And then you get the washers on both sides with the groove in it for the bearings. And it just kind of like sandwiches it. So basically you got the one washer goes here with the, you see the groove there. It's flat on this side, smooth on this side. It's got kind of a groove for the bearings on that side. So put it in here, groove down. And you put your double sided bearing. Obviously you'd want to grease it. And then you put your other um, flat washer with the um, groove side up towards the bearing. You know, and then you got the flat side down. So the basically the, the um, double sided bearing is um, sandwiched between two washers and the groove is, is on on the side with the bearing of each both sides and then you get and then you're just going to have your um, lock washer here and there is one in the middle here and it's got the got this one here and that just goes into this groove here so you got your groove there it goes it go, you just slide that into the groove oh, okay, I need to go the other way with it yeah I have it backwards slide into the groove that way and then you got your nut you put on with the with the slots in it there. Again, when you put this on, just make sure you grease it good, the, the bearing. Get some good grease in there, work it in there. This one was already greased. And then these just only go on like snug tight. You don't really need to tighten down, just almost finger tight. You don't want any play in it like that, but um, get the play out of it, you know, just tighten it up as much as you can by hand. You might need to take a and just lightly, lightly tighten if it doesn't want to go. You know what? You don't want to be tight though, so just move it back over here, just just where it, it moves freely. You don't want too tight. But then you're gonna have to get this um, lock washer, and, and right now here these tabs on here need to go. One of them needs to go into this channel so this doesn't move. So I'm gonna have to either tighten it a little bit there. I just tighten it a little bit, and now this this chant this um. This tab here, you can bend it down into this groove here to prevent this from moving. So you just got to line it up one way or the other. You have to back it off a little bit or go forward a little bit to line it up to that groove, and then you just tap that thing and go down to that channel and to prevent this um, nut from moving, loosening it up and falling off. So as long as that's in the channel, good, the nut won't fall off when it's spinning around all the time. That's pretty much it. I just haven't tapped it down, but you need to get like a maybe a hammer and, and, and tap it down to where it goes all the way in there. And that would be it. This video is published by mbkpinternational.com.